Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial we are going to make three different pencil tumbler designs. We are going to jump right in. We're using three 24 plumps from the Steel Magnolia and I have already cut out the stencil. I will say I made this stencil myself and it's broken <laughs> if you want to call it that. It has quite a few flaws and you'll see that through the tutorial. So I will link one down below from Creative Fabrica as well as Etsy so you can choose which one or do your own search for a stencil. Now I did cut this to eight inches tall and 9.45 inches wide. It fits the Steel Magnolia 24 ounce plump perfectly. And I don't know about y'all, but anytime I try to do a full wrap with a transfer tape that is thick, I either get bubbles or I don't really get it wrapped on there really well. Well, Tech Wrap Craft sent me this transfer tape and I noticed that it was ultra thin, which I love. So I thought I would give it a try on this since I'm doing a full wrap and see how well I'm able to get this wrapped around the tumbler without flaws like I normally get from my favorite transfer tape that is a little bit thicker. And I have no clue what I was doing. I don't know why I removed the back. So I have put the back back on and then trimmed off a little excess on the back side so that I'm exposing a little bit of that vinyl so that when I line it up on my tumbler, I can press that exposed piece down and then work my way around the tumbler, pressing the remaining portions of the vinyl down as I'm removing the back. This vinyl is from gracefullycreatedccd.com. I will have a discount code for you down below. She has a huge vinyl selection and my personal favorite vinyl shop. All of the vinyl is matte and it is removable. So that's a huge plus for me. If I make any mistakes, I can just lift it right up and it does not damage the vinyl or leave any residue behind. And it's especially helpful in these cases where I'm also going to use it as a stencil. So it easily removes and I can use it to do so without having to cut separate pieces to use as my stencil portion. And y'all, I think I found my new favorite transfer tape because this stuff had a great grip and it was so thin it didn't bend or warp the entire time i was wrapping this tumbler it was super easy to work with and had a really good grip but not too much to where it wanted to remove my vinyl as i was pulling it away love it once i removed the transfer tape i just went around the vinyl and made sure that there was not any air bubbles underneath. If there was, and I think I had like two or three, I just popped them with my craft knife and pressed all that air out from underneath. Now I removed the wood section of this pencil tumbler and I did not have a gold paint that would match our glitter so i just grabbed this paint pen that i used for my geo tumbler that we had a tutorial on and colored in those areas that i was going to glitter gold our glitter is going to give us excellent coverage so i wasn't worried or concerned about any of that silver sort of peeking through or it not being i guess a perfect coverage as i could have got with a paint I just wanted a base underneath so that if a speck of glitter was out of place or something like that, you would be able to see a little bit of that gold through rather than the silver and see a big contrast of colors. I just dried that up really quick with my heat gun and grabbed my Colorflex glitter glue. And yes, I am using my kid's Crayola paintbrush. <laughs> we gotta use what resources we have y'all, okay? I can keep up with my glitter and tumblers and vinyls, but paint brushes, pens, and scissors, they are MIA 24-7. So a lot of times I am asking my five-year-old to <laughs> use her craft supplies so I can get some things done. 
And you know what? It worked out really well because it had a nice point on it to where I was able to get up into those points in my wooden section. And I got really great coverage of my glitter glue. Once I had all of my spots covered, I went in with white sands from Colorflex Pigments and just dumped it on there and knocked off any of that excess. Once I have that cleaned up, we're going to move into the next color. I'm just going to remove this strip at the bottom of the tumbler. This is going to be our black section. I'm going to use the Color Fix Black from Colorflex, and we are going to use this as our paint and our glitter glue. It is a three-in-one paint, so it is a paint, primer, and glue in one has really good coverage as well as really good adhesion and truthfully works best if you are using something like a makeup brush to apply. It gives it excellent streak free coverage where this kid's paint brush isn't the best but it still gave me really good results. And again, I am using Midnight from PDB Creative Studio. There are two cuts of this glitter you can get the extra fine which is 0.08 or you can get the 0.015 this is 0.015 because i like the larger or the chunkier fines i just feel like it gives it a little bit more dimension and this black does sparkle under epoxy once we have knocked off all the excess from our black we're going to move into our silver section I am using Brilliant from PDB Creative Studio, and I removed that piece that was in our silver section and then replaced it or put it back on the cup on top of the top portion of our pattern vinyl that we are leaving, just so I can protect it, be a little sloppy with my glue application, and it didn't take me as long as trying to be precise <laughs> along that line. Now, I didn't have a glitter color that I absolutely loved for this eraser section. So what I'm going to do is use the Color Fix Paint Glam. And I'm going to paint this section, giving it two coats because I want it to be perfect since we are going to put an opal glitter on top of this. You will be able to see imperfections. So I'm gonna give this one coat, dry it with my heat gun on a low setting and then on the second coat, I will apply my glitter. I am using Whisper from PDB Creative Studio. It's a really, really beautiful opal glitter that's going to reflect that pink paint underneath. Now, since we've completed this one, we are going to set it to a side and allow it to dry, and we're gonna move right along into our next tumbler. Now, for this one, Tech Rock Craft sent me these beautiful sparkle vinyls. I was really, really excited to use them and see how they kept their sparkle underneath epoxy. So we chose this rainbow 
ombre and this is such a pretty vinyl it really makes me think of the beach it would be so easy just to wrap a tumbler in this vinyl add on some beach waves and boom you have the easiest beach cup ever we are making these for my daughter's kindergarten teacher she started kindergarten this year and her teacher's favorite color is pink so we're gonna cut this top portion off and set it to the side and then grab a piece where we have the most pink possible and that be at the top of the design so we do have those couple of sections at the top that are going to re be removed so i left a little bit of that yellow in there so that we could have the pink as the majority of our main section now to cut this vinyl i used cardstock setting it is a thicker vinyl it's also glitter and i used this strong grip mat from tech wrap craft also and it worked incredibly well now since that vinyl is permanent i cut a separate sheet of temporary or removable vinyl so that i could add those on for the sections that we will be removing i just added on the top two strips by hand since they are just straight lines i lined it up with the top rim of the cup then we added on our tech wrap craft vinyl i left the pencil or the wooden section out and then added on that bottom strip where our eraser is going to go Now I am going to show the remaining steps on this one, although it is the same as our first one. I'm just going to speed through them so that we can move along to our third tumbler.
Once we have completed this one, we're also going to set it to the side and allow it to dry. Now for this third one, I have already cut out my stencil and removed that center portion. We're going to be using a deeper red glitter. So I am using wine and black and just combining those two colors to get a deeper or a darker red. I am using a makeup brush this time and you can see how well this paint goes on using a soft all over makeup brush. I'm keeping my coats pretty thin, so we're going to do one coat, dry it on low heat setting with my heat gun, and then on the second coat, we're going to use that to also apply our glitter. We are using Ari from Colorflex for our red glitter color, and I'm honestly not a huge fan of red at all. <laughs> Like when I saw that this teacher's favorite color was red, I was like, Ugh, I really don't want to make a red cup, but this glitter is absolutely beautiful. And much to my surprise, this actually ended up being my favorite of the three pencil tumblers. And you may have noticed the mat that I'm using in the background rather than my typical sheet of printer paper. This is actually a PVC non-stick mat from Artistry, obviously. <laughs> they have two different sizes in these mats, one which is the small that I'm using here and another that is a perfect size to go under a large turner. Glitter does not stick to them, they're static free and epoxy peels right off. You can use alcohol to clean them up if necessary, um, but pretty much anything just wipes right off of this mat and it doesn't affect the color or remove any coloring from it at all. It stays looking brand new, so they're pretty great. Anyway, so since we are glittering the center of this one, we're going to skip the wooden section go straight into the black at the bottom and then we're going to go to the eraser section at the top skipping our little silver portion. This will just help us get better lines and help us not get glitter in sections we don't want it to be in. Quick little side note here, look at how pretty Whisper is on that black. I mean, would that not be awesome for a Halloween color? Yeah, that's all. Once we have our three sections glittered, we're going to remove the wooden portion and our silver section just so our glue or our paint does not dry onto it we're going to remove it before our paint is completely dry we're going to allow this tumbler to dry for two hours seal it twice to make sure that when we add on our next sections of paints and our glitter we're not going to move that glitter around and it's going to be easier to work with and maneuver without knocking off any of our glitter. Using paint pen we are going to color in that gold section, use our glitter glue to fill it in and of course glitter that section and the exposed silver as well.
Once all of our tumblers have had plenty of time to dry, we're going to spray seal these babies three times to make sure that all that glitter stays in place and epoxy them until they are smooth. Now I'm only going to show you adding vinyl strips to one of these tumblers because it's the exact same thing, but I cut all of these strips to 0.08 by 11 and a half inches in design space. I am using Tech Wrap Craft Gold Textured Metallic Vinyl. Since we mapped out our tumbler and all of our glitter sections, all of our lines should be perfectly straight. We're going to go directly down the center of all of those lines and add on our vinyl strips. Now for the zigzags at the top of our pencil section, we're just going to use little strips or use the big strip, trim off the excess and make our way all the way around the tumbler. And then I'm going to go to each point, cut directly down the center to a point and remove that excess vinyl on either side. After the points are done on the wooden section, you're going to go to the top of each of those points and add on a strip to the silver portion of the tumbler. I put it down on top of that point and then stood my tumbler up and just kind of eyeballed it to make sure that it was straight, made sure that it was pressed down really well and then trimmed off any excess. Now, once you have finished all of that vinyl work, go around the tumbler and take the time to press down on each piece and make sure they are stuck to your tumbler. 
I let these sit overnight. Since I had sanded, I did not want to spray seal. If you spray seal after you sand, then you definitely will be able to see all of those sand marks. I used Majestic Bubble Font to make some little images of our teacher names. And then in Design Space, I created a point 035 offset for these names so they would pop off of the tumbler. Now I'm using that same Tech Wrap Craft textured gold metallic vinyl and I'm also using two different colors, a pink and a black from their matte 001 starter pack. We're just going to layer these two vinyls together and then add them onto the center portions of our pencil tumblers. Once I had all of my decals on, it was time to shine these up with our two final layers of epoxy. Now, normally I would have done a coat of facet and then a coat of regular epoxy, but since we can use the Artistry facet as a final layer as well, and I was in a pinch for time, I did two final coats of facet and these were ready to go. I really love how these turned out. The Tech Wrap Craft Vinyl did hold its shimmer. It looks like we added in some mica to our epoxy. So I am definitely looking forward to using those other colors of that shimmer vinyl that we have. And like I said, although I'm not a red fan, I love the red tumbler. Let me know what your favorite tumbler is down in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the tutorial and subscribe to our channel. All of the materials that I used will be listed down in the description below, as well as some coupon codes for y'all. That is all for today. Thank you all so much, and we will see you next time.